Well, hello, my YouTube family. It is Thursday. And you know the week started out going really fast, and then all of a sudden, it just put on the brakes? I don't understand. So, this is four down, one more to go. It is May 17th, 2012. Let's get on with it. I have a lot to talk about today. So sit down, make yourself comfortable, you know, grab a bag of chips or popcorn or something. Um, a lot to talk about. So, um, and no, it's got nothing to do with him. He didn't call or anything. So if you want to turn it off now, you can turn it off now because they ain't got nothing to do with that. Um, lips of the day. Let's start with that. Lips of the day. Okay. It is something quite familiar. I have reviewed it before. It was a color, a shade that sort of, you know, kind of went with what I'm wearing and the look. So we shall go with, it is my, hmm, my L'Oreal Color Juice Stick in Plum Crazy, number 710. Plum Crazy. And you guys know what Plum Crazy looks like. Y'all already know because I've already reviewed this one. This is Plum Crazy. Very soft, very juicy, very, I think this is a gel, another gel-based lipstick. I love this. I love this lipstick, people. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I love this lipstick. It goes on so smooth. It's got its own shine to it. No topper needed. Lasts pretty much all day, but it fades. And it leaves a nice stain. Now, how you can tell that it is fading, your lips will start to dry. So, you can either, you know, start fresh, wipe it all off, and then put maybe some Carmex or Blistex or Burt's Bees Chat Balm on the bottom first and then apply it on top and then maybe it'll last a little bit longer and it won't dry out your lips as much or just do what I did all day basically I just only needed to reapply maybe twice and that was it um, as it was fading I felt you know my lips drying up I just reapplied it's as simple as that I didn't have to take it all off and you know line my lips again in the chapstick and no I, I I wasn't all into that today so I just reapplied because I like the shine and I like the shade and it it, it fades off to a very nice stain a very a light, like a lighter like a lighter balm like shade than this very nice so it is L'Oreal I think these are discontinued but you can find them in all cosmetics wholesale and probably on um, Amazon now, I'm, I guess I can say you can find it on eBay, but eBay and I are no longer friends, so I am not going to push anything for eBay. So if you guys want to do eBay, that's your business, but they have screwed up my account one too many times, I'm done. So, moving on. I will push All Cosmetics Wholesale, and I will push Amazon. eBay, you're on your own. Just putting it out there, people. So that was Lips of the Day lined with this is also, I think, discontinued. It's Benefit. It's a, it's a Benefit lip pencil, but the color is called Bordeaux. Let's see? And although it looks like it's a brown liner on the screen, it is not. It's a deep, like a deep purple, a deep wineish purple shade. There you go. A deep wineish purple shade. And now we go on to my La Femme blushes because I am wearing one and the one I am wearing is La Femme Grape these are bad ass blushes can I just say bad ass I will venture to say that these blushes can give NARS a run for their money. The pigmentation is stupid. It is just ridiculous. I mean, all you have to do, I'm just going to tap. All you have to do is just tap it. The pigmentation is stupid. It is stupid. Look. Is that not... 
I, I don't even know what to I, I don't even know what to say. Look, look at this. That is great. Great. It's got a hint of shimmer to it, but I mean there's they're micro shimmers. You can you can barely see them and they do not show up on my cheeks. So that is great. Oh my heavenly sweet Jesus, I am in love in love with these blushes. Came in my, my La Femme. I know it says sporting goods, but I guess that was the only box that they could find. I don't know. Um, I, I bought one of these. This one is the, um, what's it called? Glow On Rouge, and it comes in a box like this. And the shade that I bought was Golden Dew Amber, because on the site it said that Golden Dew Amber is like one of the best shades that, that makeup artists use because it gives a nice glow and whatever. I was sold, so I bought it. Now the shade to me comes in a nice packaging and everything, plastic and all, and it's all it's it's big and clumpy. This this I have to say. I mean, look at the thickness of this thing. It's big and clumpy, but it's very nice. The fam Hollywood, and this is the shade, glow on rouge, golden dew amber. And well, you know I opened these up yesterday, so you know because I had to know what the heck I was talking about. And it comes in a packaging like this with the blush, with the, the the brush. And that is the shade, people. That's it right there. That's it right there. And look, you can actually see where my other blush is. That's my table. Okay. So let me do a swatch of this. Now, I swatched it before and it didn't really show up. But I'm figuring maybe I swatched it too lightly or whatever. So I'm going to really dig in and show you what it looks like. So, here we go. It's, it's, hmm, how am I going to do this now? There it is. It's like very powdery. It looks like it's very light. It might be, even be too light for me. I'm going to swat. Yeah, you can barely see this. I, don't, I may use this as a contour or something. Yeah, let me try it again. And if I have to dig that deep, then I really, there it is. It's the second one. Second one down. That's it right there. So it's kind of like a, uh, a pink with a hint of brown or a brown with a hint of pink, depending on how you want to look at it. And this is what it is. That's it right there. So I shall give you a review on this. Um, when I wear it, but I've got so many others. I think I bought eight, eight altogether, because you know I just I love to do things in a lump sum. You know this, you know this about my NYX lip glosses, my lip, my NYX lipsticks, the nudes. You're all very well aware of how I order. I don't order just one. If I'm liking, I'll order the whole damn lot if I need to which is what I did with my NYX lip glosses. Ordered all 36. Okay, so that is La Femme Hollywood. This one is the Glow On Rouge, I think. Yep, Glow On Rouge in Golden Dew Amber. And that is Golden Dew Amber right there. Next, we're going to go with Peach. This is Peach, y'all. This is peach. They're so pretty. They really are. They're just very, very, very pretty. This is peach. And look at that craziness. Can you see that? Can you see the craziness? Look at it. Oh my goodness. Look at peach, people. Look at peach. What? For for three dollars? Look at the amount that you get. Look at the size. Three dollars. Jane blushes are smaller than this. And you have to pay like five dollars. And I thought that was cheap. I was like, ooh, Jane five dollars. 
What? For real? Okay. Next. So that was Peach. Okay. I think I'm going to have fun with Peach. Next is a bright pink called Coral. Now you know. These are like summer shades for me. Summer shades. That's all I'm saying. Look at this coral. Well, if I keep moving it around, it turns into different shades. So it's a bright ass pink. I think that's the closest it's going to get. I don't know why it's turning orange. And the farther I move it back, there it go. Bright pink, people. Bright pink. Swatching. Look at this. This is craziness. Look at it. Craziness. That's it right there, people. Coral. Loving it. I think these are actually putting the Milani blushes to shame. I'm just saying. I think. I, I think. I'm trying to get them off of my fingers, which they do not come off. Okay, I'm going to have to wash my fingers. Because look, the fingers all stained up. After I'm doing this now, they're still stained up. So you know the staying power on these blushes is phenomenal. Phenomenal next. You think I'm finished? Oh, hell to the no. Um, the next shade is Golden Sunset. Golden Sunset. I don't know why I show it to you with the cover on because it's not going to show. Here is Golden Sunset. Now, last year's in my archived videos, I call them archived because it's just last year. I asked people to help me look for a blush without shimmer that looked pretty much like my NARS Outlaw blush. I think I found it. Outlaw is a little deeper than this, but I don't know. The true color isn't coming out. They're pretty much all looking the same on the screen. But this is pretty damn close to Outlaw. And I think I found it. Um, let me... This is it. Is that not ridiculous? Just my thumb, people. Just my thumb. Ridiculous. I don't know where I'm going to... Oh, my goodness. It's going down my arm. This is... What is it? Golden Sunset? Golden Sunset. This is Golden Sunset. Got to move that. Golden Sunset, people. Golden Sunset. Are these shades not ridiculous? What? Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, African Export. Thank you, everybody who spoke. True Sugar, you spoke about the, the La Femme blushes. Everybody who spoke about these La Femme blushes, it's all because of you. Sucker for advertising. What have I been telling you? I've been telling you this for years. Y'all don't listen. I don't understand. Next, um, this one is called Golden Rose. This is Golden Rose. This is like a fuchsia pink. There it go, right there. Really lovely, really lovely. Okay, I have to find a finger that has the least. Okay, let's go with this one. I I'm not giving you the finger, but you know, this is what it, th this is the color. Is that not stupid? Or what? Is that? Okay, um, down the arm I go. Here we go. This is, what's the color again? See? Do you see the mind? Golden Rose. This is Golden Rose, people. Right there. Golden Rose. Very light shade. The brightest is this one, which I think is coral. This one. Golden Rose. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And I think I'm reaching for the... Oh, no, I have more. I have two more. This one... This one, everybody was really hyping, so of course I had to jump on the bandwagon. This one is Cinnabar. 
and it kind of looks I don't know if, it's, if this is really going to show on my cheeks. It's a brownie kind of shade. There it go. Kind of like a tan brown kind of shade. So um, that's it right there. This is it. Um, here we go. There we go. That's it right there. Kind of like an orangey brown or rusty, rusty brown maybe. Down the arm I go. Here we go. This is it right there. Cinnabar. Might give a nice glow. Might give a nice like suntan glow. I could probably use it as a contour or get me losing the word contour. That's right. I said it. That's right. That's right. I said it. Probably could use it as a contour. Just saying. The last one is Dusty Rose. Dusty Rose. And this is Dusty Rose. And it's a Dusty Rose shade, all right. This is it. That's it. A Dusty Rose. And, okay, I guess I could use this finger. This is Dusty Rose, people. Kind of looks like a a brownish, brownish pink or somewhere along those lines. And the last one on my arm. There we go. That's Dusty Rose. That's it right there. That is Dusty Rose, people. So these are all the shades. Look at this loveliness that I'm going to have a devil of a time washing. Look at these beautiful shades. Ah! I am just wallowing, wallowing in the beauty. Wallowing in the beauty. I'm just saying. So that was my La Femme order. My very first La Femme order. I am so not disappointed, but then again, I haven't tried them on yet. As far as grape is concerned, very satisfied. So pigmented that I really had to blend and blend and blend. Because when I first just tapped my brush, put it on, it was like, oh, we're going to the circus today. Fantastic. No. So I had to blend and blend and blend and blend and blend and blend. So, um, these will be lasting me until my death. I'm just putting it out there. Hopefully that's not any time soon. Okay. But these will be lasting me far into the future, far into the future. But what am I obsessed with now? Now, I think this one comes closest to it. This one, which is peach, but I highly doubt it. I'm obsessed with Max Modern Mandarin. I'm not going to get it. Too damn expensive right now. So I am asking for your assistance. Do you know of a dupe that comes pretty damn close to Mac Modern Mandarin? Oh, but wait. Obviously, I'm on a blush kick. Uh, I took a look at Illamasqua's Excite. There's two of them. Illamasqua's Excite and Illamasqua Lover. What? But they're $24 each. That. Where over here does it say that I have Janet Jackson's bank account? Does it say that anywhere on this face? So, no. No, I can't. No. No. Um, so, I am asking for your assistance. Basically, the modern Mandarin is the one I really want to dupe. I took a look at that shade and I was like, have to have it. I have to have it. Then I took a look at the price. I don't need it that much, but if I can find a dupe for a lot less, I will take that. Now, uh, I threw out some suggestions on my Facebook page and um, somebody came up with the Revlon Cream Blush 80s Chick. You know which one I'm talking about. 
it was coral or pink or something like that. But I remembered your video and you said, don't even bother because they didn't show up on the skin. So I said, no, that won't do, but thank you for the help. And besides, I'm not looking for a cream blush. Anyway, I'm looking for a powder blush. So although the shade, I'm sure, is pretty darn close to Modern Mandarin, but a cream blush will not do for me. So I need a powder blush that looks like my Max Modern Mandarin and that is far less than $24. Well, that was the Illamasqua. The Mac Modern Mandarin is what, 28 or something like that? No, not going for it, no. But I am obsessing, kinda like how I was with um my, my um, see, I even forgot the name. The Mac purple one, lipstick. I forgot the name. As much as I was obsessing over it, uh, Velveta, um, y'all know the one I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm obsessing kind of like that. I'm, I, I could feel it growing. Like until I get it, I'm going to try to match it up, match it up, match it up until I finally just break down and get it. But I'm hoping by the time I do break down that I can find it on Amazon or something or All Cosmetics Wholesale and they'll sell it for a lot less. But yeah. Yeah. So um, I slowly feel the build up. And I think that's why I bought all of these blushes. Not that any of them look like my, um, Modern Mandarin. Although on the site, the peach one did sort of look like it. But up close it really isn't. Although peaches are happening in color. But mm, not exactly. The Illamasqua Excite is closest to the modern Mandarin. But Illamasqua's blush is $24. No. So, um, yeah. So, yeah. So, help me out. I'd be forever grateful. And if you guys can't, you know, if you guys just say, look, she needs an intervention because look at all the blushes that she just bought and she's still obsessing over the one that she can't have. Just tell me I need an intervention because I know my family will come together and, you know, do me do a, a kumbaya moment with me. I understand. I, I do. I do understand. Um, but, you know, I'm going to probably lose sleep over this right until I get something. Just 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 give me something. You see, I'm, it's like a drug addict. Right. Need the drug. I need it. I, I need that. I need the shade. I need that shade. It's a beautiful summer shade. It's an orange. And, oh, by the way, I do have NYX Cinnamon. That's not it. Cinnamon is very, very orange, which I absolutely love. Love it. And I have Sleek's um, Scandalous, which is the dupe for NARS Exhibit A. They both do not look like the Mac modern mandarin because nyx is orange orange and sleek which is the dupe for exhibit a is red but it goes on very nice and gives a sort of orangey glow that's not what i'm looking for i'm looking for the mac modern mandarin which is a very orange coral shade it's an orange Coral. It's orange coral mixed. Absolutely beautiful. I have to have it. Have to have it. But I'm not going to pay 28 and I'm not going to pay 24. See, the, the Illamasqua Excite and Lover can be dupes for Max Modern Mandarin. But one is 28 and the other one's 24. What the hell? So I'm saving a few ducats by paying the 24? No. I am going to find a dupe for a hell of a lot less than $24 and a hell of a lot less than 28. So um, I can understand if you if you don't even want to answer that question. Just keep it moving. Just say, oh, Nancy, your lips look great. And I'll understand if you don't answer anything in regards to the blush, I will understand. You guys are trying to give me an intervention. I get it. 
I get it. But, but for those who are in with me, who want to feed my addiction, because you have the same addiction, feed with me. Let us join hands and let us look for a dupe for Max Modern Mandarin. Because I, I need it. I must have it. I must have it. Now, I know I'm, I'm going on and on and on. But um, one final thing, and then I'm calling it a day. <sighs> there are people out there who watch YouTube videos. And just in general, in life. Who feel the need. Instead of moving along, you don't like what you see. Instead of just moving along, click and go to another video, you feel the need. You feel that your words are so important. You feel the need to write a condescending or downright stupid comment. Now, I had a comment, I think, on yesterday's video from some person who thinks they're royal. That's all I'm saying. You could look for the name. Um... Because they, I think they go by that name. And felt the need to write something stupid. And I, I mean, it was so idiotic and stupid that I did reply with something to the, to the effect of, and you felt the need to comment why? Like, why even bother? You don't like what you see? Get to stepping. Keep it moving. Leave me alone. I am only making these videos for my YouTube family and anybody who wants to join my YouTube family. Not for some stupid childish person. And the person was obviously probably between the age of like 9 and 11. Because what they wrote was so damn stupid that that is... And if they're older, well, that's where your mind frame is at. Immature. Keep it moving. So... This is this is this is my advice or words of wisdom, whatever the hell you want to say that that what I'm about to say is if you don't like what you see, keep it moving. Just keep going. Don't bother commenting. Don't bother. Because the person who's making the video obviously isn't making the video for you. You don't like what you see. Get to step in. I do not deal in negativity. I don't like it. I don't want it. I don't want it anywhere around me. And that includes my YouTube channel and my comments. So if you feel the need that you're so angry or I upset you or whatever, suck your teeth, go like this, and keep it moving. You don't have to write your frustrations down because I don't care. I really don't. I don't care. And as a matter of fact, I will be laughing at you just like I did when I read that comment. It was a stupid, stupid comment. If you don't find me funny or you don't find me amusing, I'm not the person for you. Keep it moving. I'm not a stand-up comedian. I just, I have a good sense of humor and I like to make people laugh, but nobody pays me to do this gig. I do it of my own free will. And if I do get a laugh or get a chuckle from the person who's watching the video, I feel very great. I feel absolutely fantastic. When you let me know that I have like made your day or I made you laugh, that brings me joy. It does not bring me joy to, to read something like, you don't think I'm funny. Okay, fine. Keep it moving. Get to stepping. So that is my words to this immature person. You don't like what you see? Go on about your business. And that's for anybody else out there who finds me offensive or whatever the case may be. Although I don't know how you could find me offensive. I don't think I'm, I offend anybody. I really don't. I try not to. But if for whatever reason you're so sensitive that whatever I say or however I say it bothers you, there are a gazillion other channels that you can watch. There are an endless amount of videos that you can go see. Okay? That's enough attention 
for the person that obviously needed the attention. I'm done. And on that note, people, no, I'm not pissed. I am just stern. I'm not pissed. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know what you think about my La Femme blushes. All of these. Help me find my ma Mandarin, modern Mandarin dupe. And I will see you tomorrow. Okay. I know I, I, I went, I'm, I'm on 30 minutes and, and, and over, but bear with me. It's a ride. I love you. I love my YouTube family. I hope you all had a good day and I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Hit me up. Let me know what you think about everything. Comment. Okay. I love you. Bye now.